Hello, welcome to Crazy Row Studio. In this video, we will be taking a look at Networker NSR tools. NSR tools is an interactive command line utility created by the Dell EMC field support, which bundles different support tools to have one tool in one place. The tool can be downloaded from the FTP link on your screen and also in the description below. This tool supports Networker version 18 and newer releases and the operating system compatibility is listed on your screen which includes Windows 2012 64 or newer, Linux 64-bit distributions that is inclusive of CentOS, uh, Red Hat Linux Enterprise, 6.x, 7.x and 8.x and uh, SUSE Linux 11.x, 12.x or newer. There is no installation required and NSR tool is a read-only tool which means that there is no configuration change that will be done on your system and it is pretty safe to be tinkering about. There are a lot of tools packed into this one package and covering all of it in one video is going to make the video a lot lengthier. Thus, this is going to be a multi-part video. Link to the videos for the different tools are available in the description below. This is the first part of the multi-part video set for NSR tools. In this part, we are going to look at the following features, that is the NSR tail, converting MMDB to a SQLite database, DD boost percent logging, SSID info and dependency, and advanced volume info list. So when you download the NSR tools from the EMC FTP side, it will be coming in as a .zip file. And that particular compressed file will contain uh, the binary for both Linux as well as for Windows. So if I take a look at my extracted file, so this is the file that I have for uh, Linux. So let's go ahead and launch the NSR tools. To do this, you go to the folder where the NSR tools file is located and then execute it by running dot slash NSR tools. And you will see that you are greeted with a lot of information regarding the tool itself and uh, the KB article, which you can uh, look at to download the tool or uh, look at any latest release information regarding that tool, the different subfolders that are used by this tool, the information regarding the logs, your ports, your uh, system information, network version information and other details that you can see down here below. Now let's go ahead and look at the first feature that uh, we are going to cover as part of this um, NSR tools because there are a lot of features in this and uh, when I went through them I didn't find all of them being very useful to everybody. Uh, in daily operations, so I will be covering that uh, the most of the features that I think are uh, uh, helpful. Right, the first tool on our list today is the NSR tail. This is a simple tool and I'm sure this is going to make it looking at running logs easy during troubleshooting. So we have NSR render log native in Networker, but it does not include a real-time rendering with uh, with running updates so we do have a tail for this as well but again we do not get a rendered tail and uh, most of the information in an unrendered .raw file is uh, not very useful as they are all mapped to variables so the NSR tail is a combination of NSR render log as well as tail so let's go ahead and take a look at this and we are going to Initiate this by running the command NSR tail on the NSR tools CLI. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And this is going to ask you for the complete path of the dim of the dot raw file that you want to render. So let's go ahead and give this uh, to our daemon dot raw. So as you can see, this is rendered all the information up to this point and it is waiting for new information. So right now, nothing much is happening on my backup server. So you would not see a lot of updates coming in. 
uh, but yeah so this is this is going to really help you during the troubleshooting so you can open up a session uh, party session uh, on uh, on the new terminal and uh, then run this command and then go ahead and open a new terminal and uh, try running the commands that you want to while checking the output of the daemon.traw which is rendered at the same time. To get out of the NSR tail all you have to do is hit Control and C and it is going to bring you back to the main menu. The second feature that we will be looking at is converting the networker media database to a SQLite database. Not sure how this feature is going to be useful to you, but if you are trying to run complex queries to filter things and make it faster that, than querying the media database on the backup server, you can use the MMDB to SQLite feature. So the, Now this option is going to read everything from the MMDB and create a SQLite database that you can import on another system or if you have SQLite 3 installed on the network server itself you can query the database on the same system using the regular SQL query language. On the NSR tool prompt all you have to do is go ahead and run MMDB to SQLite. So another uh, cool feature of this tool is that you can use the tab command to auto complete your command that whichever you are running on the uh, NSR tools prompt. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now it is going to ask you if you want to uh, dump or create a SQLite database from the MMDB directly or if you already have a file in XML format that you want to use to be converted into the uh, SQLite uh, database so let's go ahead with one which is converting the current MMDB so that you have all the latest information on that hit enter now this is going to take a while I do not have anything much in my media database so it is not it might not take as much as time that it might take on a production system all right so the com command is complete and if you look at the output here you will see that it has run an mminfo command with all these parameters in the report in the report type and it has created a table so this is the schema of the table that is created meaning that these are all the parameters that will be available for you to query and uh, once it has done all the import it has kept the database under slash home my home directory basically and a temp folder within the home directory and the name of the database is mmdb.b so let's go ahead and try and query this um, database using SQLite 3 for this first we exit out of NSR tools by hitting the exit command and it's going to take three seconds and then it's done clear and go back to the top all right, so I am in the temp folder wherein my media database is. So if I look at this, my media database is right here. And I'm going to run SQLite 3. If you no did notice the output, you will see that the SQLite 3 tool is also included with the NSR tools command, but I was not able to run it as it was um, actually. Uh, complaining about some missing library so this SQLite 3 is the one installed on my system so let's use that one and if I give it the media database SQLite database file that was created we go into the prompt and if you click at schema you will be this is the schema of the table that was just created and if I say select star from table mmdb which is the table here colon enter so this is all the information about your media database so let's um, select something select star or select client from or we could say count star from this again to count the number of records you'll see that I have just two records in here and so this is how handy it is
So if you see a good use case for this, I think you can uh, very well use this or maybe you can use this to import or export uh, your media database to an external um, application that you want to use to query the existing database on maybe for audits or for any other purpose. Let's move along and the next tool in our list for today is the ddboost per cert logging. So this feature can be run to enable debug logging at a low level for ddboost API calls that show you all the ddboost activities. So one note of caution while running this is that the ddboost per set when turned on increases the number of logging which in turn might fill up your disk if you are running it for a very very long time. So since we generally use client direct in networker this feature is usually used on the client machine all right let's take a look at how this works for this go to your nsr nsr tools prompt and run ddr pre and hit tab to complete the command then hit enter and it is going to ask you which the, the domain that you want to use so let's go to one which is the only data domain that i have Put in the credentials for the boost. Uh, I did one mistake there. Let me do that again. So one and then the credentials and then yes. And there you go. It started processing. It's going to take a few minutes for it to start. And another word of uh, and another uh thing that you might have to take care about is that if you want to run this particular feature you will have to launch nsr tools as a root because it needs to enable debugging on the operating system level which needs to needs to be done with pseudo credentials so if you want to use this keep bear that in mind so if you see i don't have a lot of things happening because there are no backups running right now let me go ahead and start something on the backup server because i'm running this on the backup server itself all right i'll just pause this video for a few minutes until the backup initiates and there you go if you see it has started with the connection and now it is started writing the backup as well see it's using direct read and actually the backup is already done because it was very small so yeah basically this is how you use the uh, DDR per cert and this is going to help you troubleshoot with issues regarding communication or lags between the client and your data domain device so let me hit control C to exit out and come on to the NSR tools main menu all right so let's look at the next feature and i am pretty sure that a lot of you might be interested in this feature so this feature is for advanced ssid info and dependency list so this feature provides detailed information about a particular ssid and also on its dependency list so for use of this feature you have to run the command mmdb ssid info on the nsr tools prompt but before you run that i would need an ssid that i can work with so let's hit um, let's first connect to a backup server and get that information i'll be right back let's put in the ssid here hit enter and there you have it so it gives you information regarding all the uh, attributes of that particular safe set like client your SSID the uh, the name of the safe set the host that that safe set belongs to uh, volume ID volume pool level which um, uh, location that particular vol uh, SSID belongs to which group policy workflow and which action that this was part of and it also gives you this very important information regarding the dependency of your save set all right so after this very handy feature let's move ahead and look at the next feature that we have which is the advanced volume information list now this feature provides a detailed information for a particular 
volume it may be particular or it can be all the volumes that you have so the information might be quite large depending on the number of save sets stored in the respective volume so to use this feature you you can run the command mmdb wall info and hit enter and it is going to list you all the volumes that are available on your network server uh, you can select each one of them or all of them so if you look at the information on your screen you can see that i have two volumes one of which is nothing uh, is 0 kb or nothing is written onto it and the other one is prod 001 so let me go ahead and select prod 001 by hitting the option 2 and hit enter and you can see that it has listed all the information related to that particular volume so these are the features that I wanted to cover in this part of the video. So the next part of the video will have another set of features. So stay tuned for them. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below. Or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.